Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Sundays at Tiffany's. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeston and every Sunday I put up a motivating video for you for the week ahead. Just something to inspire you to get going for the week, to get rid of the Sunday scaries and to just help you out. So today's video is a little different. It's something that I've been thinking about for a while now and I just think it would be an amazing idea and help us all out, moms, women, men, whoever needs a quick meal on the go that is healthy because not only is it going to be the new year, everyone's going to be trying to lose that holiday weight and things like that, but it's more so about just being healthy. Not only will this help you make healthier choices, but this is also going to help your wallet. All of this stuff is budget friendly and very, very simple. So today we are doing a massive meal prep that could be like a family meal prep or it could be considered a ingredient meal prep. But let me just show you all of the ingredients I'm going to be using and how easy this is. So the very first thing I do is get all of my ingredients ready. Tanner, while I get beat up by this guy. <laughs> All right, so it is 1.32 when I'm starting um, the actual cooking process. So here's what I have out. I have my crock pot, my instant pot. I have water that I'm gonna be doing the hard boiled eggs in. I'm gonna be cooking some turkey in these. Just microwaved my spaghetti squash so that that's easier to cut and I'm gonna throw that in my instant pot right now to start. All right, so I basically just microwaved that so it'd be easier to cut. Took the seeds out. Now I have my trivet in my Instant Pot. I'm pouring in one cup of water. And now I'm gonna add the spaghetti squash in. So this is how I fit the spaghetti squash in. I could have cut it directly in half. That probably would have been the smarter way. But you can also cut it lengthwise. You can also cook it whole. I've done that before, but I wanna try this one because it takes a little bit less time. Secure my lid. Make sure my valve is closed. And I'm gonna go on here and I'm gonna do a pressure cook. And I'm gonna do this for eight minutes. Eight minutes. All right, so while that's going, I'm walking over here. I'm gonna put a dozen eggs into some water and we're gonna make hard boiled eggs. Everybody in my family eats them. You can also put them in your salad or use them in recipes. So once my eggs start boiling, I'm gonna set a timer for 15 minutes and then I'll put them in an ice bath. Moving on to my crock pot, I'm just gonna throw these chicken thighs in. Now I'm pouring in eight cups of chicken broth. Just gonna put that on high. Time update, it's 1.49. Real quick, this is done, so I'm just gonna do a quick release. Turn that off and open this up. Just gonna let that cool off for a second there. And while this is resting, I'm gonna go chop up some onions. So 
So I have larger slices of onions that I'm actually gonna brown for our soup, and then some smaller onions that I will be using for our little omelet baggies. And I'll also be using the smaller onions for our lettuce wraps. All right, so I'm just heating up some olive oil in this pan and this pan. I put four cups of water in here and I'm just gonna add two cups of quinoa to this. So I added my big onions here and now I'm gonna add some of my smaller onions here. Turn them down a little bit. And add some salt as well. Now that these are nice and brown how I like them, I'm going to add half of this turkey. These are looking perfect. I'm gonna add those to the crock pot now. And then our quinoa is starting to boil, so I'm gonna set a timer for 15 minutes for that. This is still doing good, now I'm just gonna season that. And still waiting on these eggs to boil. Onions are in. Gonna reduce this to a simmer, keep it on low, and then put the top back on and then start our 15 minute timer. Okay. You know that I like to be very minimal with my cooking, so this is just literally um, turkey, yellow onion, salt, pepper. I'm gonna add right now some garlic powder and some soy sauce. Next, I'm just adding a little bit of ginger. You can use like all fresh ingredients as well, but I'm trying to be quick here. So this will do instead of real ginger. And just the smallest little bit of honey to give it a little bit of sweetness. So this is all done. I'm just gonna put it right in here. And then you can see over here, I just have these big things of romaine lettuce and I'll be using that for our lettuce wraps. Um, and usually I like to add a little bit of peanuts on top before I go ahead and eat that. Um, and then the inner parts of the romaine I saved for salads. The spaghetti squash was cool enough for me to put on here, but I'm still gonna let it cool a little bit more before I go ahead and like shred that up. I'm just using the same pan I used for my first batch of turkey, adding a little bit more olive oil, adding the rest of the turkey. My timer just went off for this. Perfect. I'm just gonna take all the quinoa and put it into this bowl for now. All right, quinoa is joining the lineup of things cooling off. Somehow these eggs are still not boiling. Turkey's still going. Going back over to my Instant Pot, adding a cup of water. I'm adding in butternut squash. This was so easy to cut, I think just because it was like a pretty small one, so I didn't have to microwave it or anything. Just setting it in like this, I took the seeds out as well. The recipe says to put it on high pressure for 12 minutes, but since um, mine is so little, I'm gonna start off with 10 and try that. So to this, I've added salt, pepper, and garlic, as you can see that I got everywhere. I'm gonna add a little bit of my quinoa to this. One, two, three, four. Now I'm just adding some sauce to this, and this is the sauce that I'm using. Just putting this off to the side for right now too. It's gonna to be part of my assembly line. Okay, 500 years later, these are finally starting to boil. I'm not sure why that happened. But you can see here, one of the eggs is starting to crack, so I'm just gonna pray that they're done and put them in an ice bath. All right, so we 
definitely have a lot going on here right now. I just preheated the oven to 375 and I'm gonna put two cups of oats into this bowl. I'm using certified gluten-free oats just because we are gluten-free, um, but I'm just gonna put those in the bowl and we're gonna work on our oatmeal bake. So two cups of oats. Next, I'm adding a teaspoon of baking powder. So one teaspoon. And the recipe calls for one third cup of brown sugar, but, but I'm gonna be using like maybe two tablespoons. So I don't want it to be super sugary. Plus, um, you're gonna get some sweetness from the bananas and strawberries as well. I'm also doing some cinnamon and a lot of cinnamon because my kids love it and so do I. Cinnamon and then a little bit of salt, just a little bit. Next, I'm just cutting up some strawberries and one banana, and I picked out all of the ripest strawberries that I had in the bunch, just as they were getting ready to go bad. All right, so we're gonna take half of these strawberries and half of this banana and just add it in here. The rest we're gonna be saving for the top. Taking a break from the oatmeal really quickly, um, I have some chicken fingers that I'm gonna be making that go on 375 as well. So before I mix up the wet ingredients with it, I'm gonna get the chicken ready. Also, I completely forgot about my butternut squash and it's been about 10 minutes since the timer went off, so I just did a quick release and let's see what this looks like. Yeah, definitely very well cooked, but that's fine because we're just gonna be mashing that up anyway. Okay, so for the chicken, all you do is mix that cooked quinoa that we made with some gluten-free breadcrumbs or regular breadcrumbs if you're not gluten-free. And now I'm just going to dip the chicken into some egg and then coat the chicken with the quinoa mixture. Got my chicken, got my egg, and got my quinoa and breadcrumb mixture. I also added some um, salt, pepper, and garlic. All right, so I'm throwing my chicken in on 375. I'm gonna check it after about 20 minutes, but right now I'm gonna get back to my oatmeal. Also, I'm adding some washed blueberries, about a handful, give it another stir. You can put whatever toppings you want, nuts, any kind of fruit. Just going to put that into my baking dish. I'm using the same bowl and I'm putting in two cups of milk. I'm just using 2%, use whatever kind of milk you want. I'm sure I could use almond milk too. Now I'm adding two tablespoons of melted butter. Go ahead and add one egg. Also doing two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I'm just gonna stir all this together and pour it on top. We're just gonna give it a little shake to make sure that the liquid is going throughout the oats. And now we're putting that in the oven on 375 and I'll check this at about a half an hour. 
It's 4.02. While all that stuff's going, I'm gonna regroup and just put some stuff away and clean up a little bit. Okay, got some things put away. The kids are being loud, sorry. Um, here's the chicken nuggets. Chris tested them and loved them. Um, this smells like actual heaven. It smells so good and it's gonna be delicious. I cooked this for about 35 minutes. Um, the recipe says 30 to 45 minutes. It all depends like on how you want it. But I wanted mine nice and brown on top. And then most of this is the cinnamon as well. While I let everything finish cooking, I cut up all the rest of our produce and I'll insert that right here. All right, so I added some carrots as well as some frozen peas to the soup and I just let that cook a little bit while longer. Stirred it all up, the chicken shred it by itself just by stirring it. This will be absolutely delicious. I will not add the noodles until I go ahead and actually make the soup tomorrow. I also just cut up our produce and then in a little container I put some onions, some red pepper, as well as some cut up broccoli. And in that one container, that will be my little omelet container for things to add to my eggs. It's just really amazing to prep ahead of time, to just have everything right there at your hands. Literally crack an egg open, throw in some veggies, and you're done. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and let me know what videos you wanna see in January. 
Also, I wanted to let you know I ordered the cash envelopes and a little wallet to go with the Dave Ramsey plan. And I wanted to know if any of you wanted to see how I budget or what our goals are for this year. Um, so let me know in the comments below. Thanks again so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up.